What is Gibbs sampling? Have you ever wondered how we can sample from complex probability distributions without directly accessing them? This is where Gibbs sampling comes into play. It is a technique used in Markov chain Monte Carlo methods, especially within Bayesian statistics and data analysis. Let's break it down step by step. Gibbs sampling is particularly useful when dealing with high dimensional probability distributions. These distributions can be quite challenging to sample from directly. Instead of tackling the entire joint distribution at once, Gibbs sampling focuses on conditional distributions. This means you sample each variable based on the current values of the other variables. To start with Gibbs sampling, you first need a set of random variables. Imagine you have variables labeled as x1, x2, and so on, up to xn instead of trying to sample from the joint distribution of all these variables at once, you sample from each variable's conditional distribution. For example, to sample xi, you would use the conditional distribution given the current values of all other variables. The process follows a simple algorithm. First, you initialize your random variables by assigning them starting values. Next, you iterate through each variable, sampling a new value from its conditional distribution based on the current values of the other variables. This cycle continues until the samples converge to the target joint distribution. It's important to note that the initial samples, often referred to as the burn-in phase, are usually discarded since they do not accurately representing the target distribution. Gibbs sampling finds its applications in various fields, particularly in Bayesian networks. These networks are graphical models that depict relationships between variables using conditional probabilities. This makes Gibbs sampling an ideal fit for statistical inference in these models. You can also find Gibbs sampling in machine learning, image analysis, and data modeling. When using Gibbs sampling, there are a few practical considerations to keep in mind. First, it requires that the conditional distributions of the variables are known and easy to sample from. This is often the case in conditionally conjugate models. Additionally, if the variables are highly correlated, Gibbs sampling may take longer to converge. However, it excels in high-dimensional spaces where direct sampling from the joint distribution is not practical. In the context of measurement and data, Gibbs sampling serves as a powerful tool for approximating complex distributions. It helps compute integrals and expected values, which are essential tasks in data analysis and Bayesian inference. By understanding Gibbs sampling, you can better navigate the world of Bayesian statistics and Markov chain Monte Carlo methods, making it easier to analyze and interpret data.